Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is just a whole lot of happy. We're gonna actually work with some really bright, bright flowers because you ever had those days where you're just kind of like, mm, there's just so much going on in the world, and you know, you just need a little bit of pick me up. Well, that's kind of where we are today. There's just so much going on, and just seems like we're just not even at the tunnel right now. So I am going to do a lot of bright colors. So we're gonna do some pink cushion protea. We're going to do some red Gerber daisies. And I may not use all these. I just ran through the cooler and picked up some bunches. And then some yellow yarrow. Some stinky marigolds. You may love them. I, they, I'll tell the story about that later. Some sunflowers from California. And we have a new variety of rose Ooh, once I again. Like those. Yeah, it's a new one. Christina just came in. Came in with those ones yesterday. The country blue. This I one's like called, those. I'm going to do it, called Country Home. Country Home, H-O-M-E. Country H -O -M -E. Home, like going home, Country Home. So this may be a good answer for us for them. We can't find free spirit. That's true. It's a little bit softer, almost like a shimmer. That's a huge garden rose. So today's challenge, oh, also we're going to do some grasses, some jasmine vines, some lily grass, some safflower, some, oh, not, oh, Novi Belgi and then some millet and some seagrass, maybe. So I thought we'd do is try this one and then we're actually gonna do just a really fun country, simple garden nest drop in. So today's challenge though, it's so I kinda wanted a little bit of a challenge so I wouldn't think about other stuff so much. So I thought we'd do first, this is a really fun bowl, but it's made like this. It's, you think it'd be like this? Well, it's made like this, it's off to the side. This is by Diamond Star friend Mark Bass picked this out. So anyway, what we're gonna have to do first is we're gonna have to do some kind of armature or some kind of structure in here. We're not gonna put foam in it, of course. We're gonna make some kind of structure so we can insert the flowers. Instead of the flowers going up, I'm gonna have all the flowers go this way. Ooh. Almost like a tidal wave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't I know? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take our Asian honeysuckle and we're just gonna cut a piece or two of that off. Oh, Christina. Where's the snips? I don't know, Christina, where are the snips? Oh gosh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. there, there, they oh, are. there they are. Yay team, sorry. Teamwork makes a dream. By the way, thanks for telling me I had the hot sauce on my, my shirt earlier. Well, you know. Really? I thought you were just saving some for later, you know? <laughs> well, there wasn't enough to save, it was just a big old blob dot there. Anyway. So we have lots of people watching today from Madison, from Little Rock, oh, cool. Mexico. Awesome. West Virginia, Georgia, Maryland, all over. I always save this string. I think it's kind of cool. So I'm just going to put it right here. Don't know why I save it for. You save everything. I'm a Mr. hoarder. Chris. I'm a hoarder. I'm going to be on one of those hoarder shows, probably when oh. I'm old. Anyway, so we're going to take a little bit of that and we're just going to spread that around. And this really, hmm, this could be a hot mess too, but we're going to see how it goes. What I want to do is just make it like a, an armature structure inside so when we start doing the initial insertions it'll have something to hang on to virginia new jersey texas alabama cool. north carolina we uh, have lots of people saying they love that base oh fun well we have some unfortunately yesterday we showed that container to the customers and i was almost positive that i knew where to get it we used to have this, a couple companies that always had that kind of variety of containers in well, apparently they're not there anymore. So we're still looking. So all those people that asked about the container yesterday, the Apern, that we're still trying to find that for you or find something similar to it. And when we find it, we'll show you what we have. So I filled that with water and the water is right about there. If I go any further, it's gonna be coming out. So. Oh, some just came out. Oh, tilt the world. Anyway, so let's go back now. Ooh, Christina, this is gonna be a trip. I don't know go. if I even want to spin this or not. I guess I, I don't know. To. Maybe not. I think I have to so they can see it. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Here's here we a go. challenge. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a challenge. We love a challenge. So now we're going to go back and just take some of our jasmine vine. We're going to strip this off. Throw that out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and put those in first. Well, oh, it just spins right back to me, doesn't it? So it's what like is the vine that. that you are using from the bottom? That's called ja um, Asian Honeysuckle. But you actually could use honeysuckle vine out of your yard. Oop. I'm gonna, <laughs> wait a minute, hang on. 
Oh, Laura. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. That's why we did not go out of the camera. That's our challenge. That's We're our challenge. Not our to challenge get always, every day, is not to go out of camera focus. So, anyway. So, we have lots of people from Florida, Virginia, cool. the UK, South Africa. So, let's look at it this way. So, that's what we're doing. So, now let's go back and add just a few of these Espedistria leaves. The reason why I pick these is A, they've got a lot of volume, but also I like them because they kind of pull that yellow color out a little bit. Ooh, it does. Yeah. And this may not be something for everybody. It's going to be a little bit more contemporary. But I thought, you know, what the heck. Miss Christine said, hi, Chris and Christina from the very humid Belfast. Oh, wow. Miss Barbara said, multi-talented. Multi-talented. Miss Annette said, this is her first time watching live. Well, she works with here. James from McCroy. Oh, it's my cousin. So she must be in Wynn, Arkansas watching today. So there's that. So now we're going to do is actually see how this Gerber Daisy naturally has that. It has that little bit of curve to it. You're going to follow that. I'll just look at the, I always say you need to just let the flower tell you where to go. So we always try to take each flower and look at it and see what the natural flow is. And you always want to have the flower to me come back up toward the sun. So someone asked, is this a Chihuly blown glass container? I wish. No, it's not. Uh, this is actually a faux Chihuly blown glass that we got from our friends at Diamond Star. This bowl, I think, retails for... We have lots of people asking. Hang on. I, I looked, but, you know, I have I can't remember anything anymore. $60. Now, a Chihuly bowl, I, Chihuly, I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure. I have no idea how much that bowl would even remotely run. Everybody can hear me okay today too? Everyone's loving your work. Okay. So now we're gonna take that one, oops, and put that over there. And we're gonna do a few sunflowers because everybody seems to love sunflowers. Or do I wanna do those roses? I like what the roses. I, you like the roses better? Because it's something new. Well, you know what? And also, it'll be a little bit softer palette. We'll just save those sunflowers right over there. How's that? That's perfect. Okay. So now we're going to color block these in. People Make say that the only, sound is good. I can only imagine how beautiful these will be once they open. I think we need to do an experiment. I think we will. Well, you won't be here tomorrow for that experiment. I won't be here. You'll be on Bill Streak or whatever. Oh, um, yeah, you know me. Yeah, I know you. It's not. You'll be in good hands. You'll be in good hands. Well, won't be the same without you, Christina. So someone asked, is there a way to cover up the comments that show the work? And yes, there is. If you slide to the, from left to right, all the comments will go away. And then you can see the whole screen of Mr. Chris. I hope that helps, Alita. People said they love watching you. They can hear you just fine. Oh, uh, great. Super. And so, everyone said that they do love sunflowers, so tell them it's coming soon. It'll, it'll be, be in the next one. It'll be in the next one. It'll be in the next one. You know, I sometimes worry I do, we're doing too much. Like we do several arrangements and I always think, oh my gosh, how long is this going to go on? We always need to spread it out or not do everything at one time. But I also know that when you tune in, you're tuning in for, you know, a little bit of time and you want to sit here, not just have it be like a two minute segment. So that's why we kind of spread. That's why I do multiple things. So Miss Margaret said things. this is her first time watching. Well, good. Miss Lori well, asked, what is the variety of rose? This is called Country Home. I'm going to have a whole lot to put in that green base when I get done because I think I want to keep this more simple. And the fact that I don't want multiple flowers. You and simple. Are well, I mean, you sure that that I'm talking together? about simple with a variety of flowers. <laughs> okay. Not some of the other one. So we're going to insert one more rose here, and then we're going to do a little bit of layering. I mean, we're going to go back. Except that leaf is kind of wacky doodle. That's the new term, wacky doodle. I'm going to take that one out. Yeah. Miss Sandy said this is the first time watching you live. Oh, goodness. 
Well, thanks for joining us. Miss Faye asked, do you work with Hella Boris? We do. Uh, we get it in. It's much more commercially grown now than it used to be. So we have it available from time to time. Oh, no. Guess that won't be in those arrangements. That's okay. No room in the end. You'll never know what's in there. How's that? Miss Judy said, <laughs> wacky doodle. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> what yarrow? There was no <laughs> yarrow there. Or me calling it uh, cornflower the other yeah, day. Yeah, well, you're calling it cornflower. That's okay. Miss Daphne said cute. that she enjoys that you do more than one arrangement per oh, segment. Well, well, good. Oh, so did Miss Debbie. Okay. So let's go back now and just add for a little bit more movement. Let me twist this around. It's catching on this side. Maybe I'm going to work that way so you can see it. How's that? Is that better? That's good. Okay. So now we're just going to layer this lily grass on top of it. So it almost looks like it's water spilling out of the bowl since the bowl is offset. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone off. Miss Bra Brandy said, Mr. Brandy said they watch every day. I'm pretty sure I'm a florist now. They've learned so much from oh, your videos. Good. So this technique is called layering or netting. We're almost acting like it's a spider web or webbing on top of the arrangement. It gives it more dimension. We have yeah, lots of people saying like that, that this is beautiful and stunning. Well, thank you. So there's that. Easy peasy. So there's the one arrangement. And I'm going to set it right because Dirty is going to get onto us if we move it out of focus, right? Right. <laughs> so there's that one. You still can see it? We can still see it. We can still see it. So now we're going to take this fun green, it almost looks like depression glass container. This comes out of Napa Home that we have. And I'm going to add just a real simple ring of, of Asian honeysuckle again, just to give it a little bit of a color, just like that. I'm just try not to cut myself. Yeah, let's try not to. Yeah, that would be kind of not fun. So now we'll just go ahead and pull that string out and save that for later. And I'm going to gently pull this apart. Someone asked, how long have you been a floral designer? All my life, since I was 14. Started in a wonderful small community town called McCroy, Arkansas. Y'all have all heard this story, so anyway. Someone asked, do you sell these happies or are they just for show? Uh, we sell everything but the paint on the wall. So yes, they are for sale. We, but our videos, we just we, do for fun. Uh, we just do them for fun. Miss Ruby said she bets you can make something beautiful out of everything. Oh, Miss Linda, you know she likes to time you. She okay. said first masterpiece was nine minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, fun. Kind of wish I'd add something more yellow to that one, though. Really, Christina, look at. Yeah, I was probably wrong. We probably did need the sunflowers. You'll be able to pull the bowl into it. Oh well. You know I'm not. I don't oh, take well. my advice. Tell you, it's okay. It's all right. But this one will be so pretty. Yeah. Oh, you know who just said hello? Hey. Trisha. We miss Trisha. Uh oh. Trisha, where you been? Remember Trisha? She uh -huh. started working in Mamel now. Oh, okay. Mamel. 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 Okay, so there's that. And now we're going to go back and add a little bit of the Novi Belgi. I think this is Novi. No, it's not Novi Belgi. This is a form of, of a. Nigella, Nigella, yeah. No, we Belgi is a pom pom. What am I thinking? Miss Carolyn said, "At what age did you know that you wanted to work with flowers?" Um, I've always been very blessed to have uh, women in my life that loved flowers. My grandmother was a big gardener. My mom loved working in the yard in the garden. I had a neighbor who babysat us when I was three and four years old. Name is Cookie who always taught me about flowers out of the yard. And so, it's always been kind of around, but always been blessed to have people that appreciated and grew things. I mean, they grew, that's how we survived. We had wonderful gardens for vegetables and 
They also had flowers. Speaking of, we're going to use these marigolds. This always reminds me of growing up as a child because of the fragrance. Because my mama always told me, you, and my grandmother too, that you plant marigolds around your tomato plants to keep the tomato, the tomato worms off of it. And the reason why is because either you love the fragrance of a marigold or you can't stand it. I'm not a big marigold fan as far as the fragrance, but I love it because it reminds me of home and of my childhood. Because we had tons of tomato plants and we always had marigolds down the, down the garden path with the marigolds in there. Of course, our marigolds never really, well, we had a couple of varieties this big, but usually it was that smaller one. So someone asked, what are those orange oh, flowers? These are called marigolds. Let's so Miss Christine said, um, since you were 14 years old, well, that was only 20 years ago. LOL. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No. A long time ago, someone said something about me doing so I'm old as dirt. So. Oh, Miss Grace said this is her first time watching. Oh, fun. Oh, oh, no. She went the first ones. What is the, like, orange spiky flowers? This? This is called safflower. Safflower. Uh-huh. And you actually, they make it into safflower oil for different municipal purposes, I believe. So I'm not really sure what all happened else with that. But I know that it's out there. You see safflower oil. Now we're going to go back and add just a few of these light colored roses. And of course, I'm taking the guard petals off. We'll have to show you tomorrow how much these opened up, too. We want to take that extra foliage off. Miss Cindy said, do you have a uh, favorite flower? No, really don't. I love all flowers. But you have a favorite rose, right? Well, I do, but things are changing. That's true. <laughs> I do love those. <laughs> I still love a free spirit rose because of just the beautiful color of it. But all these new monster series, oh, so pretty. So we have lots of people saying they've never seen marigolds that large. We have people saying, are you saying saffron, sapphire? S-A-F-F, -F, flower, safflower. Okay. And we've had a few people say that marigolds supposedly keep deer away also. Really? Well, we need to be planting those in our area, don't we? I'm going to tell you the other day I was going out for lunch and there was a big doe going up the mountain. Uh-uh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's crazy. That, yeah. And I don't live out in the woods. <laughs> no. <laughs> not in the woods. <laughs> so Miss Mary Beth said, what is the season for ranunculus? That's my favorite flower. Um, They've kind of made ranunculus where they're available pretty much all year long. Um, and they just come out of different areas. They rotate the crop more or less, but with that being said, the most popular time for them is in the summer months normally, I believe, when they come out of California as far as affordability and also all the great colors. We so have lots of people saying this arrangement is amazing, beautiful. We're just adding a little bit of sea oats here, and we're going to add just a little bit of millet to give a little bit of whimsy to it. Miss Penny said that it's her 37th anniversary today. Well, happy anniversary. You got me beat by one year. I do like this arrangement. It's really pretty. Okay. All the sunflower lovers, this one's for you. Okay. So anyway, let me spin that around. And we are getting close to being done. And what I thought we could do, oh, got a little bit more here. You know me. Let's clean the table off. Miss Annis said that this is her first time watching. It's beautiful. Oh, great. Well, we're so glad you joined us. We're here every day, normally around 2.30. And we just try to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and play around with a couple different things. And let me go back and add, just get, clean my table off with this curly willow that I had left over thought I was going to make that into the grid, but then the other stuff worked out pretty well. So this is our happies. I hope it's made you a little bit of happy today. 
And thank you all for joining us. And we will see you tomorrow. I'm going to be all alone because Christina's going to leave me to go to be in a wedding. Yeah. I'll be gone for two days, but then I'll be I back. I hope you have fun, though. All right. Thank you all so much. I hope you all have a blessed night. And thanks for joining us. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks.